Hey, this is Alice with Wonderland Speaks. I uh, am coming to you today because I wanted to attempt to get a jump on uh, my holiday meal. I prepared this particular recipe, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe last year, and I was so impressed with the results that I had to share it. Now, what I'm going to do today is call what I call a chocolate brownie bunt cake. And basically what that is, is uh, Betty Crocker, Devil's Food, and brownie mix. Now, as you know, oftentimes the cake mix has lumps in it. So what I'll do is I'll sift it through here. It also, it's a really simple recipe, and that's why I want to share it with you. It has... Um, Four eggs, four eggs room temperature. It has one and three fourth cups of water and one and a quarter cup of oil. And that's it. And also, what I like to do because I like so many of us, we like to add our own little spin to things. I like to. Um, Basically what I did was I took I took some uh, walnuts. These are the white chocolate. The uh, it's a combination ch uh, chips and some dates. And I put them in my food processor with some browning. And this is what you'll get. See this? It'll be very moist. Everything here is done. Nothing here has to be cooked. I put it in the food processor and this is ready to eat now. I put it in, in the cake, which will be like a brownie, but also I put use it as my topping also. So, and again, I'm going to post all this on my, um, my YouTube page which is wonderlandspeaks at gmail.com. Okay, so the oven is set for 325 and you want everything to be at room temperature. Uh, let's see, let's see. You wanna do this first, which is flour. I, uh, you can use uh, Pam, you can use Pam, Pam cooking spray, and let's see. That's, um, let's see, Pam cooking spray and flour and make sure that you hit the sides of your bunt pan to make sure you get any excess flour so that when your, your cake bakes, you don't have those clumps of flour on the side. Okay, so, uh, in, in it, most recipes, even though they may say mix everything together, it's a constant rule. You take all the wet, all the dry then you combine and that's what we're going to do today so these are my eggs I got four eggs going to take my oil which is one and a quarter cup that's a cup and let's see this is my quarter You're going to really be impressed with this. I, I could not believe the end result. And in reference to water, it's got one and three-fourths. One cup and three-fourths, which is, as you know, a half and a quarter. Now, as we've learned because of all these cooking shows, Cooking is a science. What did I do? That's a half. Oh. See, and that's another thing. You have to be paying attention. <laughs> I got my measuring utensils uh, confused. Okay, so I've got all my wet in here. Now, another thing you want to remember uh, is that you can all visualize a brownie. You know, brownies are rather dense, kind of heavy. And so, 
The main thing that we've learned in recent years is that you don't want to overbeat a cake. This particular recipe, as I said, I'm going to post the, the recipe. Uh, it only requires that you basically get everything wet. So you're going to bring everything together. So I'm going to mix all my liquid together. Now I could have used my big mixer, but this doesn't take that long. The only thing I'm really doing here is it takes about, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. 30 seconds, everything's wet. I'll show you. See, the thing about these little mixers is that they don't have any weight to them, so it's really easy. Let's see if I can show you what that looks like. See that? It, the foam on the top, of course, is from the um, from the eggs. So, I'm leaving all this stuff out because I've learned in these videos that when you have all this stuff out, people sometimes get confused and they wonder, what in the world is all that crap? I'm one of those people that I'm a visual person and I have to see everything in order for me to get it done. Otherwise, I'll forget what I'm doing and I'll be on to something else. But if I have everything out, then I'm, I'm better able to um, get it done. That's just me, though. Everybody's different. So what I'm doing here is this is the brownie mix. I found that with the brownie mix, brownie mix tends to be really fine. For some reason, they managed to mix that, and it's not lumpy. But the cake mix, which is what causes you to want to... Um, mix and beat it for however long. Now you can take any kind of sifter, strainer, improvise. That's what we do in cooking. We improvise. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I have that other sifter, the one that you crank, but this one, this just seems to work better. So whatever works best for you. It's all about simplicity. Whatever, whatever you're most comfortable with. And again, this, once I put this uh, brownie mix in here, and I'm going to stir in the topping that I told you about that I mixed together. And it's going to go in the oven on 325. And again, everybody's oven is different, but it, most of us have electric ovens. I know some of us have gas. And for those of you who do, God bless you. I wish I did, but I don't. So... Uh, and yeah, there were some lumps in there. So, since I'm uh, getting lumps out of... And the best way to keep your uh, area clean is to clean as you go. Like some people will have a real mess in the kitchen and then they don't want to clean it up. And some people say that's why they don't like to cook because they don't want to clean up. Well, if you clean as you go, then you won't have that big of a deal. But like I said, 325 in the oven. This is a dense cake. I would put it on the bottom rack. If you put it on the top rack, it might brown on the top and be liquid in the middle because you've got it near the element on an electric oven. That's where the, the element is. It's on the top. So put it on the bottom rack or you can lower that top rack because you don't want it right next to that heat. This has to stay in there about an hour, like a pound cake. It's going to be that dense. Everybody knows what a pound cake looks like, even if they don't make one, they know what it looks like. So that's, that's what you want to visualize. Now, when this is done, it's going to be a little wet. If, if your toothpick or fork or knife, whatever you use to test it with, if it comes out clean, like you're told to do a lot of times with cakes, that means you've overcooked it. You don't want to do that. You don't have to wait until a lot of times they'll say, let it pull from the sides and then you know it's done. No. Like I said, about an hour, maybe 55 minutes to an hour in the oven. And then you check it. Don't just take it out and say, oh, she said 55 minutes. No, because everybody's oven is different. So, and again, this is the brownie mix. And as you know, with a lot of those 
recipes, they won't even, and I'm making a mess, because I should have done this before I put it in here, but because I was trying to make a point, now you see that's two steps, I put all the wet together, and remember, you're only going to mix this for about an hour an hour. You're going to mix this about uh, a minute. And it's going to be, and you can see what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it all together. And you don't have to use the mixer for this because you don't want, as they kept emphasizing when I was researching, do not overbeat it. Don't over bake it. So, like I said, when I completed this, I was just so impressed because it was so simple. And I, for a long time, have been looking for the perfect recipe. And to come across this, I was just elated. Basically, all you're doing is bringing everything together. So, I'm going to take half of this, which is what I showed you before. The chocolate chips, the uh, brownie, cooked brownie. And what else do I have in here? Uh, dates. As I said, dates. Walmart brand, not uh, any uh, name brand. It's just Walmart brand. I got Toll House uh, combination chips. That's the milk, the dark, and or semi-sweet, and the white ones, and some walnuts. Again, this is optional. I like to do it because that's just who I am. I like to mix it up. So you can see. You see that how that is? See how how that is, how it comes together? There's nothing wet in it. Nothing. Exactly what I said, that's what's in it. So basically, I take half of this. And the other part, I'm going to put on top of it. And there is a chocolate glaze that I make. And um, I also have the recipe for that. I was so impressed with this when I made it the first time that I... Um, I, uh, because this is uh, clunky, I'm going to take this mixer, put it just to blend it well. Now, you don't have to use a food processor. Hell, I haven't always had one. I use, uh, you can use a Ziploc bag and take your rolling pin or a hammer or whatever you have that's handy. Okay, that's good. If you keep everything centralized, then you won't have that much to do. Oh, I still got a lump there. And the lumps are the brownie that I put in it. Okay. Now, what made this come together like that? The dates. They have their own everything. It was something I kind of discovered in my travels. And like I said, I like to experiment. And the only thing I'm doing right now is making sure that I don't have any clumps in this. Okay. So, let me show you what we got here. See that? See that? Now, my pan is ready. And another thing with this, unlike other recipes, this is going to be full. Which was a little scary to me the first time I did it because I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to uh, cook and it's going to overflow. No, that's not what happens. Why? Because of the brownie. So, I'm basically uh, getting everything out of here. And it's going to go in the oven. Okay. 
So, as you can see, see that? So, now it's going to go in the oven. Now, I lowered my rack, which you can't see it, but I lowered my rack. It's on the second, uh, second, uh, I don't know what you call that second groove where you slide a rack in it's on in my oven it's the second one I've got my oven set on 325 now I'll check it in maybe a half an hour to see how it's doing because I've not actually baked in this particular oven I just moved here so I don't know I may have to turn it down a little more I know I won't have to turn it up because electric ovens are tricky so, because I know you guys don't like long videos, I'm going to bake that, and when I come back, it will be cool, and I'll be getting ready to do the glaze and the topping. Bye!